We're being productive today, guys. You know, it's getting serious. Good morning, guys. We're cooking, we're working, we're cleaning. We are getting stuff done. Let's do it. Gotta get it right now. Yeah, push over the limits with you. Today I'm sharing easy life shortcuts, the things I wish I would have known six months ago that are too good not to share. Nothing is sponsored, just stuff that I love. And the first are ways to save time in the morning. Have you tried a hair primer? This helps your hair dry faster. It's just one small dab on damp hair. And I also found this rolling dryer off of a Facebook ad. It was just 34 bucks and has saved me about 50% of hair drying time. When I take care of myself, I feel like I can take care of my home too. Look at those nails. They definitely need some attention. So for just $7, this is my favorite acrylic nail kit. I use the Petite Link. I actually have a whole video on this, but this little bit of investment of time is gonna be worth it. I definitely need a manicure that's affordable. I am pretty tough on my hands. Next, I wanted to bring you my best easy cleaning solution. I got this from my grocery store. It's a Swiffer duster that extends out six feet. So it reaches hard to get to spots. And if you have a bad back, it's totally a must. It was under 10 bucks. I love those easy things that are actually worth it. I feel like it's been forever since I've had a candid chat with you guys. I know for a lot of us, this season very easily can spiral into a really anxious place. Personally, we've had a couple of setbacks recently, lots of things, but some of the main ones were a job opportunity that came up for work stuff, and I completely bombed it. And then Charlie, my husband, he has Crohn's disease. If you follow me on Instagram, you may remember he was hospitalized back in February and then began some more aggressive treatments. But we found out that those treatments have not worked. So we need to change it up. And it was kind of sitting on my heart, this idea of like this season being so busy and hectic. And sometimes we pour into places and it feels like we're not getting anything in return. Or we try so hard and it doesn't work out the way that we planned. So I've also been thinking a lot about gratitude and finding those small ways to find joy and be thankful for what you do have. So that's my challenge to myself today and also my challenge to you. You leave a comment down below. You tell me about your life and how you're practicing small acts of gratitude to make life easier. Sometimes we don't get what we want, but you might find sometimes you get what you need. Those are song lyrics that I've stolen and I'm sharing with you, but they're still good. <laughs> Those little joys are all around. I know this sounds so silly, but these glass cooktop cleaners, I think it's my favorite product of 2019. All you need is water, they're just a few dollars, and you rub it onto any glass surface. Stains came up off of this that have been on there for months. It is awesome, I couldn't recommend it more. And you also need to try stainless steel wipes. If you have a lot of fingerprints on your stainless steel appliances and you don't have a lot of time, it seems like all this residue would stay on there and it wouldn't look great, but I tell you what, it dries immediately, fast and easy. And what's more, they are great on tile backsplashes. I'm gonna put a link below to all the products that I can find, but those little ways that can untrap us from a spiral where we don't wanna clean our house, I feel like these things do make a difference and they've brought me a lot of joy and made it easy and actually kind of fun. Something else I love is this carpet and upholstery cleaner. It works really well on set in stains and it's kind of a one and done situation because it comes with the foam and the scrub brush. You just go in a circular motion. You can see it takes everything out. And I even use this on my microfiber couches. Anything we can do to make the day easier, I am about that. I am running into the grocery store. I genuinely have like 15 minutes to get this done. So many of you guys have been asking about easy meal planning ideas. 
try searching in Google one pan meals. You sick of the crock pot? You don't feel like doing the Instapot? One pan meals, it's where it's at. Even just that simple search term, it's gonna open up a whole new world of Pinterest. But let me show you one of my favorites. Plus it's using stuff that we already have at home. And then I gotta get the kids from school. Y'all, they have Dia de los Muertos bouquets. Three for 20, that is a good deal. This one, it's calling my name. We're home from the store. These kids are on that trampoline. Kitchen's looking pretty clean and I've got my one pan meal here. It's technically two pans, but it all bakes at the same temperature, 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes and it's gonna be delicious. My goal of this video was you could walk away with at least one thing that would make your life a little bit easier and more positive. Be sure to leave a comment down below. What ways are you inspiring gratitude in your day-to-day -day life? I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe. To be honest, I'm not great in the kitchen. It's true. I like things like sushi, butternut squash soup from Panera, and Hershey's chocolate. But here you are. So. What I really should do is get recipes from you guys. I feel like some of you guys are really good cooks based on what you tell me. Did you pull that out of my dustpan? Uh-huh. Oh man, thank you.